Turning now to the nation's trade situation, the Bank of Korea's data shows for the month of June we've recorded a healthy current account surplus. Not as big as a year earlier, though. Here's Kim Hye Sung with a breakdown of the numbers. South Korea's current account surplus hit 7.4 billion U.S. dollars in June to mark 76 straight months in the black. But the current account surplus for the first half of this year as a whole dropped nearly 17 percent on year to 29.6 billion, the lowest figure in six years. The goods account surplus in the first half of this year shrank from last year's 56.9 billion to 55.7 billion dollars as the value of imports rose faster than exports because of higher oil prices. Exports of goods in the first half of this year rose 8.8 percent on year on the back of semiconductors and machinery. But goods imports rose by a bigger margin of 11.5 percent on rising global oil prices, which went up by $16 a barrel compared to the first half of last year. The services account deficit hit $2.45 billion in June. The deficit for services in June narrowed slightly on year, but for the first half of 2018, it grew mainly due to a bigger travel account deficit as the number of domestic departures outpaced the number of foreign arrivals. The travel account deficit hit $8.5 billion, marking the second largest half-yearly loss following a record high tally in the second half of 2017. The financial account, which shows capital outflows and inflows, saw a surplus of $4.7 billion in June and $24 billion for the first half of this year. Both are down from the same period last year as Korean companies increased their investment abroad and their dividend payments. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.